Egg. Representing Japan, Shoma Uno. The 2017 World Silver Medalist and Japanese National Champion, Shoma Uno, 19 years old, a nine-point lead after the short program. That was the third highest short score of any man this season. First of four quadruple passes, the newly learned quadruple loop. Does it look too new? Just spectacular. mistake. Beautiful triple axle that has per usual wild into the outside on these landings. to Han Yu at Worlds, but just about two points. And he said that that changed his mentality. He used to think there was zero chance that he could beat Han Yu, but now I want to win. as he waits to get into the second half of this program. Three quads planned, starting with this quadruple flip. Forward, but somehow finds the foot. Still two more quads to go, both toes. jumping style, the rhythm is so important. If that gets quick, it is very difficult to control. Can he correct in time for the second? Much better quad toe, double toe combination. difficult combination in any event. Triple Sal, triple toe.
not perfect, but wow, he can capture a moment. So many big tricks in this program. And when you have an arsenal like that, you can make a couple of mistakes and still smile at the end of the program, right? <laughs> because even with the mistakes, he still accomplished so much. Look at that technical score. And that's with the mistakes. When he does this program cleanly, he could be the guy to beat. Yazuru Hanyu is so excellent, but he's shown weakness, and Shoma has such a high ceiling. So here's one of the young guys who has really led this quad revolution, got the quad toe when he was 16, but what did he say after the short? He said, I admire Patrick Chan. I strive to be an expressive skater, and that's what I want to be someday. So, you know, the two of them are sitting there thinking, gee, I'll take a little bit from you, you take a little bit from me. Wouldn't that be nice? Absolutely. And Patrick is just, he's a skater skater. Everyone looks up to Patrick and respects what he is capable of doing on the ice. But Shoma has a quality. Of course, no one has the power of Patrick, but that quality and ease and command throughout the entire program to be able to have a goofy takeoff on a quad toe late in the program and be and come back and hit the very next one with that kind of excellence. Shoma has so much confidence, but he might have left the door open just a smidge. If Patrick is perfect, he might have a shot of taking the lead. But let's take a look. This new quadruple loop opening up just so easily executed. And he has so many huge passes late in the program, that quad flip. The shoulders were so far out in front of the hips. Unbelievable that he got the free leg underneath him. A little trouble on the first quad toe, but he keeps a smile on his face. He stays positive gets to the next element, and that speaks volumes to his training, that he knows he can make a mistake, stay strong enough to hit the next element, and he had so much energy late in the program. What a statement. The free program score, 197.48. 197.48. 17 points lower than what he scored at Lombardia Trophy, and that was the uh, best free skate of the season of all of the men. But he's over 300 points, and that's not a bad mark. That's a substantial score that Patrick is hearing right now before he starts. He knows he can get up there, but when you put up that big number before your biggest competitor starts, that plays a major mental game. 